Hey everybody, hope everyone's home safe, doing well during this tough time. Uh, still hopefully trying to figure out ways to dominate the day. Uh, my name is Steve Brunich, assistant coach with Hobart College. I uh, really appreciate Dan Shimadi and his staff at Richmond giving us this opportunity to, uh, to share some knowledge with you guys while you're at home uh, during this tough time. So uh, one thing I want to talk to you guys about right now is just a really simple shooting drill that we love to do here at Hobart College. It's more or less just a warm-up drill. Uh, we talk to our guys all the time about not just coming out on the turf and starting to shoot a bucket of balls as hard as they can. Uh, it's really important that we work up to maximum power and, and really work through that warm-up process. So I think for you guys at home, this can be a really good way for you guys to get out in the backyard or wherever you are and uh, start to fine tune the mechanics. Really listen to your body and work up to 100% shooting speed. Um, so the drill I want to talk to you about right now is what we call zero to 60. It's really good for form. And again, just understanding what your body feels like in a kind of an uncomfortable situation. So what we'll do is we'll kind of stand about 10 yards, no further than that from the cage because it's not about where the ball's going, our accuracy, everything's about our bodies, our setup, our fundamentals. So we'll stand here, and if I'm gonna shoot ready, we're gonna put the stick in our left hand and face flat square to the cage, just like this, all right? And here's the zero part, completely standing still, all right, with our chest to the cage. Of course, you never wanna shoot a lacrosse ball like that, but this is our setup. And then the explosion part, the 60 part, is how quickly can we go from this standstill set to a shooting position like this. And what we want our guys to do is to feel what it's like to be cocked and ready to go. All right, as you can see here, I've got my arms completely back behind me. A couple of teaching points. We don't want our sticks above our head. We don't want it lower. We don't want to show the goalie the head of our stick by keeping it in front. And just like this, we don't want it too far behind us. We want to find that sweet spot where that stick is right behind our back shoulder, so we're hiding the head of our stick. And if I've got my hands completely back, this is what's gonna give me optimal power, all right? The more torque, the more leverage I can get by putting the stick behind me will give me increased velocity. So we talk to our guys all the time about it's not how hard you can swing a lacrosse stick. It's not how hard you can swing a golf club. All right, it's how smooth you can be in your fundamentals. So how far can we get our hands back and this isn't a comfortable position. Some of our freshmen come in and they don't like this feeling. They want their arms out here. So we have them struggle working through getting their hands back and seeing if they can get their chin over their shoulder. So again, this is the movement, all right? Standing still left-handed and exploding into this position. Now they don't have to shoot right away, but they have to feel what this is like for them. And everybody's gonna be a little different, but this is the basic setup. And then from there, we can rock back and get momentum and follow through with our shot and get that back foot around, all right? And the guys that get more uncomfortable with this, well, all right, can do it a little bit quicker, meaning zero, 60, shot, okay? All right, but that's the basic setup of it. Square, how fast can I get set? I want you guys to picture playing the game right now. The ball's coming around, it gets to you, You've got to catch the ball righty, but turn and get set up for a lefty shot. It's all about setup, and if you can minimize the seconds in between your setup, all right, you're going to have a much better chance of putting the ball on cage. Face in the cage. Athletic stance. Stick back. Rock it forward. Get that back foot all the way around. Face in the cage. Flat footed. Athletic stance. You can even take a second to make sure. We always have our guys take a look. They don't feel right. This is this is deliberate practice. This isn't just us shooting. Again, if your stick is cocked too far back, we need to recognize that. We need to feel that. It's too far forward. So recognize your mistakes. All right. Make sure we're good. Forward. Get that foot through. Okay. Start right-handed. Zero to sixty. Explode. 